In this video tech tip, we will discuss some of the more frequently asked questions about worksheets. First, one question we receive regarding worksheets is how do I change the order of a row or column? After you have created the worksheet, it is very easy to quickly change the order. Click in the header of the column or row that you wish to move and it will highlight the show it is selected. Now, when you move your cursor to the edge of the header, you will see it change to a hand icon. This means you can now click and drag the row or column to reorder it. Once you move the row or column to where you need it, let go of your mouse button to release it in that position. Another common question regarding worksheets is how to resize rows or columns. To do this, select the row or column that you want to resize and move your cursor to the edge. You will see your cursor change to a double-sided arrow. Now you can click and drag to quickly change the size. Another question we receive is how to zoom in on the worksheet. To do this, go to the small worksheet menu at the top left of your worksheet. Then go to zoom and select your desired zoom percentage. You can see your current zoom percentage at the top of the worksheet. We are also commonly asked about adding images to worksheets. Now in Vectorworks 2013, you can add images into your worksheets of any objects used in your drawing. Simply enter equals image into the formula bar and you will be able to see a visual representation of the objects that are included in the worksheet. Keep in mind that this will only work if your worksheet is configured as a database. Finally, at some point in your work, you may see an item listed on the worksheet that needs to be modified, or you may even wonder where the item is in your drawing. First, go to the worksheet menu and click recalculate. This will ensure that the information in the worksheet is up to date. If you still see an item in the worksheet that you need to change or are uncertain of, you can select the item directly from the worksheet. To do this, right click or control click on the row header and choose select item. Notice that this will select the object in the drawing behind the worksheet. Keep in mind that you can only select the item if the worksheet has not been sorted using one of the sorting icons at the top of the worksheet. Again, this will only work if the worksheet is configured as a database. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to visit kbase.vectorworks.net for more video tech tips and other technical info. Thank you, and have a great day.